The Bright Data House is essentially a way for a lot of content creators in the data space and one in the software engineering space to come together and just share ideas to create momentum in a lot of the things that we're doing and learn from each other in an awesome way. It's called the Bright Data House because Bright Data actually sponsored this and made this possible for us. This is really exciting because in our last trip, we, we sort of piloted this and we sort of hit this launch pad for ideas and innovation. And we all saw how different everyone created content, how different everyone else viewed data. And this was a great way to shake things up, a great way to create value for the creators, but also in the longer term, create value for the people who consume our content because they're getting higher quality things, more informed things. And at least for me, uh, and hopefully for our team, that's something that's unbelievably exciting. For me, you know, I really highlighted the importance of community. A lot of the people I met today, I've been friends with online for almost two years. Correspond at the same time that I started growing in my career in data. And so it's almost a little emotional meeting a lot of the people because I'm like, you've helped me out in my career so much. And now I get to see you in person and also get to collaborate with you. I mean, this is like a really special group of people. Like Mark was saying, like, you know, all these people like I've known online, we can't have like the quality of conversation that like even we were able to have on the couch here. It's, it's hard to find people that are both content creators that are also data folks and uh, people who are generally interested in becoming like financially well-informed, becoming like more productive, becoming healthier. And it's really hard to find that like outside of this kind of gathering. So, you know, I'm very grateful for companies like Bright Data who are, you know, willing to sponsor us to ensure that not only are we creating like really, you know, great content, but we're able to create these relationships that hopefully will translate um, to our audiences and to, you know, future collaborations. So Tina and I, we, we came together uh, almost, I think, six months ago and we formed this company called Learn Media. And for us, that was a way to create value for the other content creators that we saw in the space. Create events, pitch brands for brand deals, right? We saw that each individual creator, we didn't know how to price ourselves. There was inefficient uh, information in the market. And we thought it'd be really neat to say, hey, if we share this information, we can create a better understanding of our value. We can have more leverage when communicating with sponsors. And we can also have this forum to communicate and grow individually. Again, I'm just so grateful that everyone came <laughs> and that we were able to make something like this, uh, hopefully a success and, and we'll hopefully see more of these in the future. One of the highlights of this trip was definitely the Iron Analyst competition. You got to see some of your favorite data analysts, data scientists, and data engineers from LinkedIn, YouTube, all over the place compete to see who was the eventual Iron Analyst champion. So they got this data set, they had to pre-process, they had to analyze it, and they had to come in and figure out some insights to essentially win the judges over. And the judges were Tina Huang, Josh Starmer, as well as Ben Rogajan, the Seattle data guy. I did end up hosting and I had a blast doing this. If you want to see the whole episode, you can check it out. It's linked in the description. Really, really just fun experience overall and uh, something I'll look back at fondly. Maybe we'll do it again or something similar in the future. Oh, this was awesome. It was just like so vibrant to have people bouncing ideas off of each other. It was an amazing experience, I'll be honest. Like we talk to lots of data people all the time on podcasts and things, but like meeting people in person is just a completely different experience. A lot of the focus this week was on web data. I'm yeah. interested as someone who literally wrote the book on data <laughs> engineering, maybe what your experience has been like with that and what you might have learned this week, if anything. So I'm actually gonna give Bright Data a shout out. One thing we talk about quite a bit in our book is relying on managed services. And the point is that as a data engineer, most data engineers have too much to do. And so focus on using managed services to like get core things done, like data ingestion, and then focus on like the high value stuff that can't be fully automated, where you need to write code to actually make sense of it out of the data. And so this concept of having someone else do data scraping for me is really, really amazing. The profession, if you want to call it that, of content creation, of being a creator, is a very lonely profession. It really is. Because yes, there's lots of people following you and it feels like there's lots, there's, there's a lot of people, right? But as a creator, if you really think about it, what we do is we sit there and talk to a camera 
for hours at end by yourself. You really don't get the opportunity to talk to other creators about this. You're so much in your own head, the way that you perceive creation. And by putting everybody together, you're able to learn so much from each other. You feel so inspired by people as well. Some of us are full-time content creators. Some of us are people who hold a job. Some of us want to make more content. And by having all those experiences in the room together, you're much more able to make a decision of what you want to do for yourself. I've taken a little bit of a break and sort of been out of it. So it's been really good to like get back into it and also be around like such like-minded people that have like such passion and energy about like things that they do and things that they love. Because I mean, you'll just have one person to present an idea and then you'll just spitball on that. You'll go with another one and then go another. And it just it just stems so many other different ideas by sitting uh, in my office alone and just like trying to come up with ideas. I think it was an amazing opportunity and thank you to Ken for really organizing this. This is the second time that we're doing it. Each time that we do this, it's going to be even more valuable um, in terms of the creators that are here, also in terms of the brands that are here, because they get access to creators that normally they would have to reach out to individually. And together, we can offer so much more than just that. I've had a really great time. I've met so many really awesome, inspiring people who I've seen on the internet for like the last year and a half or so. And like knowing that they're real and they're actually really awesome. And yeah, it's been amazing. The hot tub live stream was my favorite part so far. And that was a good time for sure. This has been the best trip ever. Like yeah, amazing, but I highly recommend this. Uh, speaking to specifically Zach and Ben, uh, it was, has been very enlightening because they are so experienced that they have uh, very strong, very well-developed opinions of the industry, which um, I think will help me develop my knowledge base in my own job after going back to Seattle. Uh, there are some actually like just great friendships that I'm like developed a lot more in this uh, meetup. And we actually got to make some great content as well. This trip, we're able to bring the creators together to have a really good time to have great accommodations, to have great food, to have great experience. But we're also able to consolidate a message for a brand around an overarching umbrella of web data or whatever it might be. And I think that that's a really unique and a very special thing.